Senator, Senator Cinema. Thank you, Chairman Collins, Ranking Member Casey, and all of our witnesses for being here today. Robocalls are the number one consumer complaint that the Arizona Attorney General receives, and more than 550 million robocalls have been placed to Arizonans in just the first six months of 2019. But robocalls are more than just a nuisance, and while not every call is a scam, we must go after the criminals who use robocalls to harass seniors. For example, some criminals pose as utility bill collectors and threaten to shut off people's power in the dead of summer. In Arizona, where summer temperatures can easily top 110 degrees, that's a threat to a senior's health and well-being, and some do pay out of fear. I also heard from Maggie, who's here today, whose elderly parents in Tucson, Arizona, were robbed of their life savings in a sweepstakes scam. Maggie's father is a 20-year veteran of the United States Air Force, living with Alzheimer's, and has lost much of what his family saved from his military pension. Their story is horrifying, but all too common. And that's why I've worked with Chairman Collins to pass the Senior Safe Act into law last year, which empowers financial institutions to identify and stop financial exploitation before families like Maggie's lose everything. And I'm proud to join Chairman Collins in introducing new legislation this Congress, the Anti-Spoofing Penalties Modernization Act, that updates existing penalties for illegal spoofing that haven't changed since they first became law in 2010. Our bill also helps enforcement partners by extending the statute of limitations for these violations from two years to three years. 